Good morning folks, now the fact you've clicked on this video means you already know what we're doing today but I can't tell you how excited I am about this one. The Waverley isn't just any old boat, it's a Scottish icon and anyone from Glasgow around my age has probably got memories from childhood of going down the water on boats just like this. Memories that will be just as precious as this paddle steamer is today. It's literally one of a kind, it's the only seagoing paddle steamer left in operation anywhere in the world. And today, you and me are going to step aboard and go for an adventure. Come on, let's go. Oh wow, there she is. As I walk along the banks of the River Clyde here next to the Glasgow Science Centre, I can see the Waverley docked in front of me. Now it's not just been decades since I've been on the Waverley, but it's been a similar length of time since I've seen her at all and she's looking absolutely magnificent, all ready for the first sailing of the 2022 season. There's quite a bit of interest here and there's already a big queue forming to get on board. We've got a really nice day for it as well. I'm just taking this opportunity to scoot about and get some external photos just now because for the best part of the rest of the day, we're going to be on board. I'd actually forgotten how the beam of the boat is actually quite narrow, but those paddles make it so much wider. Hiya. Yeah. So you can see behind me that's the route for today, so we'll be going all the way to Greenock, Rothsey and then on to Tina Bruich before coming back to Glasgow. And there we are stepping aboard, it's been far too long. Of course I'll be giving you a proper good look around both inside and outside but we're going to be on board for about eight hours today so we've got plenty of time for that. The first place we pass is the Riverside Museum and thereafter there's so much to see sailing down the Clyde, including ghosts of the past, but it's good to see that shipbuilding's still a thing here. Oh, better go and get our tickets. Awesome, thank you. Cheers Andrew. There we go, I've got my ticket and Andrew the purser has kindly offered to let me look in the bridge when we get to Tina Bruich. So that's something to look forward to. Thanks for that, Andrew. It's actually a good bit quieter than I was expecting, so smooth and efficient. In fact, here's the engine room here, which we'll go and take a closer look at a wee bit later. Time to get the jacket on. Always bring warm clothing, no matter how nice it is ashore. Not many brave souls in the upper deck today. As the river gets wider, it gets colder.
Good morning, everybody. Dick Greener, Paddle Steamer Waverley will be sailing shortly for the first cruise of the year to Rossi, the Kyles, and Tinnebrook. That's us, Dr. Greenock, and we're saying goodbye to some passengers and welcoming some more on as we head on towards Rothsey and then all the way to Tinnebrook. As we leave Greenock and Gurick behind, we'll go for a look inside. We'll start near the bow and head towards the stern. Got a lovely observation lounge here with wicker chairs, but we're going to go downstairs. And right up in the bow of the ship, we've got the bar, but the real star of the show is the other way. Let's go. to have access to the engine room, especially when we're underway. And on the other side, we've got a porthole to the paddles themselves. We are not going to see much there. As we continue after, we've got the souvenir shop where they sell exclusive little gifts you can't get anywhere else. We've also got a little post box as well. And then as we continue aft, we've got the main dining saloon. It's all very fancy. When you leave the dining saloon, there's a the lower bar. That's not open today. But you've still got the bar up in the front, of course. Ah, for some reason on this side, we've got a better view of the porthole. I can't leave without showing you the toilet with a view. And to finish our tour, let's head in and grab something in the tea room. This really is fantastic. Not only are we, of course, on board the Waverley, We've got all this beautiful Scottish scenery thrown in for free. I'm going to have so many clips to go through when I get home tonight. Just around the corner here now, we'll be in Rothsey in the Isle of Butte, and the sun's come out to greet us. Been aboard for three and a half hours now. That's Rothsey. If you haven't seen Rothsey, check out my video on it. A very interesting place. And next stop is our last stop, that's Tinnebruig, and that's when I'll get access to the bridge. We'll be there for a short while and then it's all the way back to Glasgow. That was a very strange yet skillful maneuver to get out of Rothsey. That's the thing with the Waverley, both sets of paddles, port and starboard, are synced the same way. So it can only really go forwards or backwards. It's not that great at turning. In fact, we're still going backwards. I'm expecting this final leg to be the most scenic. I'm sure Scotland won't let us down. when she's going at full tilt and she is shifting at the moment
here we are being piped ashore at Tinnebruch on the Kyles of Butte, where there's still a wee bit rusty throwing those lines ashore. As everyone departs, it's time for me to have an exclusive look upstairs. Very grateful for this, mate. Thank you. No problem at all. You've got your two Chadburn telegraphs here, both original, 1947. This one deals with the main engine, and this one is for mooring and rope operations. So they're both important for getting the ship moored. So does that one, does that like speak to the guys downstairs yes, in the that, kind of engine that room, is that right? to the engine room and uh, gives them commands. And this is the main bridge. The helm and the telegraph are also original here. A lot more modern equipment as well. It is so traditional looking though, isn't it? Can I go in here? Yeah, thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. So instead of a chart, we've now got this modern system here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's small, it's, isn't it? It is, yes. This particular bridge dates from 1985. It replaced the original. Kind of reminds me a bit of Britannia when I was on that. It's very similar. Right. And again, I think there they do the commands from up here and then it yes. goes down to the engine room. Yeah, yeah that drive cool. wasn't as common back when Waverley and Britannia would have been built. Welcome to Tinnebruch. As I say, we couldn't have wished for a better day. That's us waving goodbye to Tinnebruch and setting off back to Glasgow. It's the same route back, so I'm gonna stop my YouTube stuff and just become a tourist and enjoy the return journey. Thanks very much guys. Well folks, what can I say? I was on the Waverley for over nine and a half hours today. But seriously, in 2022, in our 75th year, that is still the way to travel. Elegant luxury. The old ones are still the best. See you soon guys, bye bye.